Hello, and welcome to Lent with St. Edith Stein. This is Rebecca, and I'm so glad you could join us today. This podcast is brought to you by St. Edith Stein Co., so please be sure to check out our website at stedithsteinco.com. This podcast is a series of short reflections based on the writings of St. Edith Stein. Just little nuggets of philosophy to help you on your way during Lent. So let's begin with the prayer that St. Edith wrote. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my God, fill my soul with holy joy, courage, and strength to serve you. Enkindle your love in me, and then walk with me along the next stretch of road before me. I do not see very far ahead, but when I have arrived where the horizon now closes down, a new prospect will open before me, and I shall meet it with peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In her essay, The Ethos of Women's Professions, St. Edith Stein wrote, Only the person blinded by the passion of controversy could deny that woman in soul and body is formed for a particular purpose. Woman is destined to be wife and mother. Both physically and spiritually, she is endowed for this purpose as is seen clearly from practical experience. Now you may have heard that quote before, or at least the first part of it, but let's dig a little deeper into the subject matter of her essay. As we begin, it's important for us to remember that every human soul is unique and has been designed with a unique purpose. God has created each of us with intention. So on an individual level, We are created with intention to serve a particular purpose in his plan. Now, while he's created each of us with a unique purpose, he created human beings with a common human nature. And we also have a common purpose as human beings to return to union with God and to worship him. Now, we can also see through our own observations that men and women were created differently. So we must assume that those differences were created with intention as well. So women have a natural inclination toward empathy, which is much stronger than what you see in men. We have this natural interest in the lives and the well-being of those around us, or as Edith says, that which is living, personal, and whole. Our first instinct when we look at a situation is to consider the human element and the feelings and the welfare of those who are involved. Uh, For example, if we have a coworker who's in the hospital, it's always the women of the office who pass around a card and arrange for meals to be delivered to the family. Our nature is so centered on the person that when we consider things, we see them in relation to how they serve people. St. Edith also notes that women are drawn to personal development. And this is obvious in just the sheer volume of personal development books and programs that are directed toward us. We want to transcend our current state and be transformed into something better. We have this constant drive to meet our full potential. And we also want to see the people around us do the same. These gifts that God has given us as women lead us to our natural vocation as wives and mothers. Of course, not everyone is married and not everyone has children. And I'm certainly not advocating that every woman should be married and have children because God calls us to all kinds of different lives. However, marriage and motherhood make the most of these gifts. Our desire to love and cherish others and help them reach their potential reaches its highest and best use in family life. But our gifts aren't limited to that, and we can and should bring these gifts with us regardless of our state of life. Unfortunately, we can end up suppressing our feminine nature, and this can be the result of abusive relationships or other difficult situations where maybe showing empathy and caring for others caused us to be taken advantage of. 
in the workplace, we may also feel that we have to leave our empathy and our compassion at the door if we want to be able to advance in our careers. Over the next few sessions, we'll hear more insights from Edith on how we can embrace our feminine nature, develop our spiritual gifts, and why fighting against them is counterproductive. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that you'll continue to tune in as we reflect on the writings of St. Edith Stein throughout this Lenten season. May God bless you and may the saints be with you.